The Dominicans are in the Your boy is back. We back, baby. Hey, what's popping? You now tune into the greatest podcast in the world. Sorry to disappoint. I go by the name of Marcos Alexander. Behind cameras, we got the bartender. She's back. She's back. I'm back. Straight from Kobe. To my right side, Big Primazo, a.k.a. Blackie, Blackie. a.k.a. Big Gangsta, Chris. And to my left, to my left side, man. <laughs> hey, 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 the man. The man himself. My man J.A.I., a.k.a. Durex Swag, you heard? Oh, yeah. Champagne Dollars, nigga. Mm. That's his name. My boy, J.A.I., Jaime. Yo, thank you for always showing us love. Everybody on Instagram, thank you for showing us love. Everybody that's listening through audio, Google Play, Amazon, Amazon, whatever, Amazon Music, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. If you're listening to audio right now, I appreciate it, gang. Um, subscribe. Go subscribe to the video. Go subscribe to YouTube. We need the YouTube numbers up. They are up, but we need it more up, like every other platform. Please go subscribe. If you made it this far, please again. I'm just gonna say, please subscribe, bro. Just subscribe. Look, look at the puppy dog eyes. Look, please. Yeah. If you're Latino, it's crazy if you're not subscribed, bro. Yo, if facts. you love the bartender. If you love the bartender. Hit it's crazy. You're not if, if you're from New York, you should subscribe. Yeah, if yeah. you're from New York, you gotta subscribe. And if you're not from New York, you should you also still subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe you might see Wherever you're somewhere. from, yeah. we love the support from anywhere. Oh, yeah. Anywhere, yeah, just let us know where you're from so we know. Right, I'm gonna say it in Chinese now. Yeah, fucking getting canceled already. Yo, a lot of cursing has only been a minute. Puff out chicken wing. Yo, Yo but, never again, Mark. I just want to ask you this favor. Oh. Never again let Jaime wear a do rag. <laughs> Please. So my man with the do rag. He's like Ricardito. Hey, he's like a Ricardito. Yo, you, know you, know you, know? you, you know what people don't know? It took me like an hour to put that shit on. Yeah. You should have recorded you that. You know, I was going to come with a purple do rag, but I couldn't find one. Yeah. So I could, like, you know, because you had to do you had to do rag. I was like, I wasn't invited to a do rag party. I, I, do, I think I'll do it for the next time. I podcast. have a do rag on right now. <laughs> yeah. You know it's crazy. After after the podcast, he was like, he took it off. He like, damn, I got waves. So I said, God, my hair does not waves. Now you gonna yeah. start wearing it? Yeah, oh, no, I, um, I look like a condom, bro. What I was gonna say is, we got my man Chris back, straight from Mexico, straight from yes, Cancun, yes, killing sir. it out there. Um, on sorry to disappoint, be 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 high. Oh yes, on yeah. The, sorry um, to how was Mexico, bro? Um, I was hating, by the way. First of all, hating. Mexico, I love the country. Love you guys. Love everyone there. Yeah. Um, I stayed in a stayed in a hotel, so you know. Yeah. In a resort. In a resort, you know, all inclusive shit. I know it's not big ball or shit, but yeah, that's what I can afford. If you, if y'all want me to do some other stuff, sell me some money. The cash app is gonna be down below. Um, please. But yeah, yeah. Weather was amazing. It was like ninety five every day. Yeah. As I can see. I'm mad dark now. I'm in black. Yeah, man, man. So yeah, I had a very good time. Me and me and my uh, my loved one went. This is not this is not your first time. I know it's not your first time in Mexico. What no, it's not it? my first time. I, what was different from the other time that you went to Mexico? Um, the difference is I I drank extremely. Like I, like I thought it was like a sport. I don't know why. There was like this is the time that you that, that you drink the most. You yeah, I vacation. drank the most this time. Yeah. Ever. 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 And not, and not just not just me like. I feel like when you go to like a resort, that's like a, a big community of just people who have alcohol problems. Because like, like, it's not just me. Like I would go to the bar at ten in the morning. I'm like, damn, I kind of feel like a sleaze bag, just going over here at ten in the morning. But the bar would be packed. Like I'm like, all right, I don't have to feel guilty anymore. Like, <laughs> give me two shots of tequila, type shit. Yeah. The liquor was good. Liquor was amazing. The people. Was they had amazing. top shelf. I was surprised they had top shelf. To, oh um, wow. Yeah. They had they had Patron all that they had Casa they didn't have Casa they had um Don Julio all that they had all that yeah I just want to appreciate that you brought the pure white hand yeah sir I had to do right with my guys I had to do right yeah, Jaime, that's crazy he brought, did, right. he brought that for them yeah, yeah. I, I got yours I got yours I got yours I just forgot to bring it but he got yours too 
Yeah, we both forgot to bring it. Oh, damn. Yeah, but I definitely got yours, though. Yo, if y'all don't know, this is the Waterfront guy right here. The Waterfront guy. I'll be honest, bro. That shit is mad expensive. Yo, you know what's funny? It's cheap. Yeah, I'm putting everybody on right now. Yeah. If you travel from Cancun back to the States, they're two for $36. No way. No, no, sorry. Two for $70. So it's $35 each. That's cheap. When I was coming back from Butacana, it was 100 each. In yeah, Jamaica, they're, they're, we bought a hundred dollars. Thirty-five, like eighty something. I'm so from Mexico back, they're yeah, thirty-five. Yeah, they went down. That's crazy. Yeah, they went down, man. The waterfront guy, you heard White Hennessy. Yes, sir. Um, what I was gonna say? How many days you was over there for? I was there for like um nine days. That, nine I feel days. like you was over there for a month. Yeah, bro. you yo, missed him that much. Not, yeah, yo, not right. even, bro. Like I'm I feel right. like the vacation went like. But the last day, I, I was like, I was happy coming back home. I don't even think about it. You were drunk the whole day, the whole vacation. So it was kind of quick. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of quick. Did you got any days that you was like um? Chilling that you didn't do nothing, or no? yeah. There was two days, you know. My body was like, Yo, you got today, you have to chill. Like, you have to, no, no, he, 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 my body grabbed me, like, Chris, Stop. Chill. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the Mexicans, man. Yeah, shout out to Mexico, shout out to the Mexicans. Yeah, shout out to Cancun. Cancun is the best, my favorite place to go. Yes, sir. Till right now, um, Chris Fax. Yes, we got Chris Fax, baby. Chris yeah. Fax. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. He working now. Yo, I'm gonna cut his ass. Or tender hating like oh, yo, oh. let me go live for the people. <laughs> straight, Boy, straight hating. from COVID, straight from the COVID bed. Yo, the thing is, I'm not hate because y'all that has maybe edit while I had COVID. Straight I'm from put the that COVID bed. Here. Uh, I mean, you're not working, so straight okay. So yo, listen. <laughs> Due to a genetic defect, mm. genetic defect. Okay, you guys know cats can't taste nothing sweet. Oh wow, that's a sad life. Sad life, yeah. That's why you know sometimes when cats, that's why cats love like that okay, tuna, eat, that fish, or that. Yeah. So they can they can eat things that are sweet, but, but they can't taste. Yeah, it. They, they, they 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 won't know that it's sweet or not. Oh, that's crazy though. So the taste buds are like yeah messed up due to a genetic defect. Oh, mm-hmm. Every cat. Yep. I'm cats. gonna test that out. Yo, yeah. do your googles. Yeah. Do your googles. You you tried it before. I'm not a cat, so I, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I had a few kitties before. I had a I had a cat named Killer once. Killer. Killer. Yeah. Why Killer. everybody around you is like like a cat and shit? Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I be like a regular cat? Oh, because you know my dad had a store. Oh. You know I had I had the Dominican cat store. Yeah. Why the cat on the bread? Why the cat on the bread? Did he yeah, actually work though? Did he kill mice. Yeah, he, yeah. He definitely killed a bunch of mice. Yo, fun rats. fact: I fought a cat one time. You lost a fight. You lost a fight against nah, the cat. I ran. I ran. Oh. All right. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> all right. Did you know a single ele- how long? Well, right. An elephant tooth, not not the tusk, not the big tusk, a tooth from an elephant. How much you think it weighs? Half a pound. Wait, before I ask you, do you just say half a pound? Yeah. Do you Sorry. realize a half a pound is like your dick? <laughs> <laughs> more, more than that. What a comparison! Why are you gonna compare? Wait, how you know? How you know how? <laughs> yo, pause first of yo, all. He waited his dick before. <laughs> so you, I, okay. I know you lost weight, so, but so, hold so, on. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you pulled your dick. dick. Hold on, where's the Duke? Where's, which one's the Duke one? This one? Yeah. Why ain't no way, boy? Come on, bro. Wait, y'all gotta Why act. No yeah, way, yeah, I never hold on, hold on. So you put in your dick. I stop on a weight scale. And the, and you put it there to yeah. see how much it weigh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put on on the gram scale. Like, oh, sixty-five oh, grams. Sixty-five grams. One hundred fifteen grams. What the thing? The little thing. <laughs> uh, how, what about you? What do you think? I would say fifty pounds. Fifty pounds, five zero. Yeah. What about you, Bartana? I say one fifty. Actually, a hundred pounds. Hundred pounds. I said one fifty. Nine pounds. I was tooth. Cool. A was tooth. A no, a cool. Not the big. not the big shot. Like I said, not the big tusk. The tooth, though. Things. Oh, so. you know, the, this is a thing about me being stupid. I thought that was the tooth. No, I I, I specified that before. Yeah, but you I said, said not, tusk. Yeah, that's, that's that's what it's called. Man, the English is so complicated, bro. <laughs> oh, <that's crazy. laughs> All right, yo, this this was gonna pounds? this was gonna blow your mind. Let me see. Blow my mind. You know, pause. Pause. Damn. Now that's not a pause because you know she she's she a, she a lady. She's a lady. I don't know how your man's gonna feel about that. <laughs> Damn, no, you know what I'm mean? saying. I'm gonna edit right. this out, so it's okay. Damn. Damn. Did you know a frosted flake? You know, you know what frosted flakes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cereal, the, the, el- the, frosted, the frosted yeah. flakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, big dog. There was there was one that was shaped like you know the state Illinois. Yeah, Chicago, of check out, yeah, Illinois. It was sold on eBay for thirteen hundred dollars. A frosted flake, a flake, un chirio, thirteen fifty. 
Well, it was big, bigger than no. The- uh, <laughs> A flake, a frosted flake. Why did that? It was a special. What, what was? So it was special? shaped like the state of Illinois. Oh wow! Yo, we're doing something wrong in life. <laughs> How the fuck they sold that for that much? Now, now every time I'm, I get a, I <laughs> you gotta look through your Cheerios. Yeah, like, hey, hey, hey. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put every state shape. <laughs> in you the know what it is? You ever see like on Univision that everything looks like God or something on a on a tree? I no, bet so. Oh, yeah. 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 Somebody break, somebody burnt the bread right, so and it was that, that was just that was just like the that was just a warm up. That was just a warm up to blow in your minds. Jesus is coming. <laughs> Jesus Jesus hey, is coming. No, 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 I'm not. I just want to say no, no, Jesus, Jesus is coming. But Jesus is coming. Ah, right, yo, you know, a banana okay. taped to a wall. Oh, I saw oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred and twenty thousand. Will you buy that? A hundred and twenty. Whoever bought that, and you know what got me tight? Yeah, it's on, no, but it's on like, though. Yeah, send me that money. But it's you know what got me though. tight? People be like, "Oh my god, that banana! <laughs> that banana is crazy, crazy art. with the duct tape! Yeah. Oh my oh god! Have you oh seen my. the videos of the art looking at the banana? Like, oh my god! Oh yeah, like it was sold for one twenty, bro. Hundred twenty bands. I wonder did they, did, they, did the banana went bad? <laughs> like it, it ripped, like bad. it went ripped. Yeah. Yo, you know if you talk to yourself. Yeah. What what do people consider you like? What's crazy. the what's the crazy, crazy right? I talk people to like myself. oh this guy has a mental health issue or this guy is crazy. I talk to myself or like oh let me stay away from him. Let me go to the next car on yeah, the four CT. train. Yeah, yeah, talk talk for me because I talk to myself. So go. So do you know talking to yourself? Uh huh. Um, it makes your brain your brain work efficiently, more efficiently. Ooh. Yo, I've been talking to myself every single day. Mm. I talk to myself all day. So all day, every the day. person that you think that is crazy. Might not be crazy. Just might be doing a little exercise for his brain. Oh, that's so, so on the train, I, I, for the people that take the train like me, um, those people that be arguing like... About themselves, yeah. By to themselves, themselves yeah. Uh, just randomly when they're arguing about themselves, they'd be like, hey, what's 12 times 12? Why don't be like, 144? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that is crazy. The nigga arguing with himself, nigga, what's, what's up? Yeah, so whoop, shadow box. Hey, what's three times three? Nigga, nine. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Shit! Try it, bro. Try it. Trust I think me. I think you should argue with yourself too. So like, that's both people in the train arguing with themselves. So that was all from Chris Faxter today. That's all. Let's get around the applause. Yeah! I got a segment too, by the way. Okay. Okay. okay wait. So my new segment is smash or pass. I did that. You copied. Yeah. It. So mm-hmm. the first person, the first person, Rihanna. She's with ASAP Rocky. No disrespect Smash. to ASAP, but I'm Smash. definitely used. smashing. The smashing. vagina being used. Pull out two babies, the vagina. Smashing. 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 Smash. Smash. I ain't gonna smash. I ain't gonna do, I can do that to ASAP Rocky. Yo, like me either, but we be smashing. Hey. I have so pretty boy Smash and pass. Smash and pass who? Michael. Smash or pass. Wait, Wait who smash me? Smash Marcos? Uh-huh. Or pass. But they cannot answer. They boys. Yeah. Yeah. I nah, we can't. Do, we can't do that. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Yo, 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 yo pause. Yo, you know what's crazy though? As Marcos, un chicharrón te sale por el culo. Yeah, what's, what's the next smash up? The next, Lizzo, smash or pass? Pass. Yo, I, I, I have a little bit. She was, she was doing some crazy things. I ain't gonna lie. She was doing some crazy things. Lizzo shit is fat though. Hey, old D fat. And I'm have to, but I'm gonna have to pass though. And warm. Why? I'm why? Hold on, but why? Nah, cause of what she did to her dancers, yeah, bro. She yeah, made yeah, them. That. She had like the banana, making them eat. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't jacking. You, you passing because yeah, of yeah, that? Yeah, I'm jacking. Yeah, yeah you passing because I, of I have, that? I have morals. I have yeah, morals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Lizzo. <laughs> my name is Marcus Alexander. If you need new dancers, new people to you to you, do you, your crazy you, shit you too. You eat bananas? Yeah, you yeah, eat bananas. Yeah. And I eat hot banana too. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hey, uh, uh, yo, yo. Hey. yo, you know what you know what I like about this guy? What? He says, "Hey, this <laughs> hey it's Marcus Alexander." <laughs> Why you gotta fucking wait on, bro? Because I wanted to know this be between y'all two. All right, what but about anyway, you? I'll kill, I'll kill her shit. You, you kill? Hell yeah! Kill I think shit. she will kill you, but that's all okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm passing. You pass it. Lizzo and Marcos right. is having something like two this polar one, bears yes. fighting. <laughs> This one, ah, uh, y'all got jokes. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Bro, bro I, I had to, I had to say it, it bro. There, it was, there. It was there, bro. All I had to do was go like this. Repeat it. What? What you saying? I said Lizzo and Marcos having sex is like two polar bears fighting. 
Oh, wow. Oh, you're going to laugh. Yo, you pick that bad, bro. You're going to laugh, you laugh on your family? <laughs> <laughs> wait, you, wait, you smash a Lizzo. You think the bed is going to stay? Think, think it's about it's going to stay. It's it's a, your king size bed? Yo, yeah, uh, king size bed. You're king size. Right, what's the next one? The point. next one is is very difficult. But I think it's the best one. Mami Yolda. Smash or pass? Pass. Pass. How about you? I will hit Lizzo first. Facts before the Mami Yolda. That's a big fact. Hey, Mami Yolda. Who's that? What's that song? that song? I'm gonna let you know your dick is gonna be on social media. It don't matter, bro. <laughs> mommy Jordan hit the guy up. You heard? I, I'll kill Mommy Jordan. Why you said that was a difficult one? That was easy. All right. Pass. Smash or pass? Jaylene. Who's Jaylene? Uh, um, Takashi. Anwar's ex. Takashi. I'll, oh. I'll, def- I'll hit. I'll hit. I'll hit. Right. Smash, right. smash, 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 and that's over for Marco's segment. Yeah. Brand new segment. <laughs> By the way, the bartender is working her segment for the last six, sixty episode. <laughs> it's coming, bro. We promise. We promise, last man. Segment. I don't have one. Uh, yeah, Jaime, you need a segment too, man. Well, my segment is: Do I hit Marco's yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want If I'm, if if I'm, let me know if I'm weird. I found weird people that put their boyfriend. And they girlfriend and they buy you. Is that weird that I find that weird? Yo, yeah, you know that's something that was like 2008, bro. Like I they don't that do that weird. no more. Nobody does that anymore. Agreed. Like you go to the Instagram, you go to the Instagram, and then they buy you. It be like Ro- Ronel. But the thing is, I think that people that do that are like younger people. You think or, so it's a younger thing? Yeah, because I never see somebody in the dirty putting somebody. In I would say or immature. Or immature. Like yeah. they having problems, like fighting. Mm. Insecurities Got you And they're making each other Put their names to be like Oh you take Wait, What was the original question Do we find it like, weird Like am I weird for that That I find like, that like, no, That no, I find that not, so you're cringy not, you're not. No 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 you're not weird Like I think it's very cringy And also whoever does that Get help Yeah Go see a psychiatrist So anybody out there That you got your boyfriend In your bio That shit is crazy That's that, weird that bro is That weird. is weird And then the name be there And you can tap it And you go to the boyfriend Instagram Like it take you To the boyfriend Instagram Wow I think that's crazy But like, I've seen it On credential um, On influencers pages Like they co-op their couples mm, I think that, that's a little different Yeah that's a little different But yeah You're in a public eye Another Another crazy thought That I had If a person is ugly Do you think they know it? Yeah, I saw I saw uh, a video on TikTok that some guy was like, "What would you rate yourself?" She was like, "I'm a three. I know I'm ugly." So every person, everybody that is ugly, I would say most people don't. It, it, most people don't think that they're ugly. They're yeah, ugly. I don't think so. Yeah, so everybody. I, I think it's different, Michael, because I think people that what do you, you consider think ugly? ugly? Somebody think is they beautiful. Exactly. Uh, but I'm talking about ugly, ugly. That's people that is, you know, I'm talking about ugly, ugly. Like ET, ugly. Yeah, like ugly. Like do, do I they think know? They do know, yeah. They know, okay. Now if you look like ET, I'm not gonna lie. Cause you look at yourself in the mirror sometimes and be like, "Yo, I look kind of crazy today." Have oh, you, oh you go out and you feel not appreciated. Never. You, know, you never had that day, Marco. That you be like, the, I "Look kind of weird." My question is like, if there is people that know they're ugly, yeah, they yes. know that like, like yo, I'm. There is people. They that, have seen. Yeah, they yo, have I'm, said I'm, it I'm too. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm ugly. Do you bro. do you think you're ugly? No. I think I'm average looking. I'm yeah, average. I think I'm average. I'm average too. I think I'm a snack. <laughs> My bad. Oh, oh snack. Oh. <laughs> like po- like popcorn in the movie theater snack or like a like uh, Oreos uh, and cheese or like an Oreos and cheese <laughs> no, snack. Nah, nah. Oreos and cheese. Theater. Movie movie theater snack. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's move on though. Did you ever had a stalker? I um, had one. My ex. <laughs> um, not that I've known. Not that I know. Of. I had one. Okay, you share your you story. You share your story. Yeah, like, but, like, it was an ex-boyfriend that I broke up with him, and he stalked. I said it before, and he came to my house. Okay, how about you, Jaime? Same, same idea. Same thing. So, uh, all y'all stalkers been exes? Yeah, yeah, I never had a stranger stalker. A stranger stalker? I knew somebody that was stalking somebody. All right, share that. So, I was like, yo, you got to stop doing that. That's not, like, that's not healthy for you. Now, the question Oh, wait, you knew the stalker? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Now, the question is, have y'all stalked somebody? No. Nah, I have never. Right, let's don't be. I'm gonna ask that again. Have you ever stalked? But what somebody? do you mean? I, I won't. Stalking? I won't lie. I won't lie. I've definitely like looked at the Instagram, like you know, is that to see stalking? to see what what no, they've stalking been doing. Is different type shit. That's, is that that's, considered stalking? That's, that's low level stalking. Yeah. That's so like yeah, level. so like, I've definitely like. Oh, let me see. Let me see what. Let me see what she's been doing. Oh, let me see. If she has another guy. Have you driven around where she lives? 
No. Okay, that is like stalking oh, so premium. So since you said that you have done that. No, no, I, I mean clarify. I think Michael has done it. I think he done it. That's what he yeah, tried to involve me. Reason, the, only w- the only reason why I... St- <laughs> he tried to involve yeah, me because yeah. he done it. Okay, go for it. The only reason why I have stalked somebody is to see and I'm, if I'm still winning. Like I go back to see, oh, are you still like going through it? I'm up. <laughs> I'm up. That's messed up. That's I go check. You gotta I, go I, check. I love, you, I love you your struggles, mama. Yeah, yeah. like you I go check if they still struggle. I'm like, all right. Are they? Are they still I struggling? I just make sure. Yes, it's like an ego thing. Are they me. struggling still? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are you up now? Are you up now? Because I'm up right. Because I'm up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. You stuck uh, right now? Can y'all date a woman with an Android? Nah, let's let me put this out there because we have a lot of viewers that do have Androids. All right, yeah. Let me put this out there. Me personally, if your sex is green, we could be friends, but I can't date you because I cannot. When you send me a video, the video be so small, I gotta <laughs> download it for me to see it. And zoom it. What, what, what does it. a person it. having a phone has to consider you if you're gonna date them or not? All right, so let me you know what's crazy? All right, All right so I'm a, imagine you're a Pisces. That yeah. has an Android. Yeah. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know what's a Pisces. What they do? I'm a Sonic oh, sign. Pisces. Or, or, like you're a Sonic, a bad Sonic sign with a bad phone. Oh, this is a you f- oh, shit. So you don't like Pisces? <laughs> That's what the comment says. I mean, I'm, we're asking you because you. Yeah. Yo, shout out, out to the you. Leos. Shout out to the Scorpios, man. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Platanos, man. Like, I don't, I don't know none of y'all. Oh, let me put a scenario. Let's say you at the bar. You're talking to Shorty. She shorty lo- is, shorty is all baddie. Baddie, bro, baddie. BBL, all that, right? Mm. Nails done, mm. hair done, mm. makeup done, mm. eyebrows done, mm. hoop earrings. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Anyway, it don't matter what hoop earrings, but <laughs> um, you vibing with Shorty at the bar, right? And then it's come the time that you got to ask for her number. And you're like, yo, can I have your number so we could keep this conversation flowing? And flowing, and another, and another when, I'm, when, I'm, when I don't see you or whatever. She pull out the Android. The Galaxy S65. Yeah, the Samsung whatever. And then she'd be like, you got an iPhone? <laughs> okay, if, so, she got, if she got that phone, she probably has WhatsApp. All right, but the, the question is, do y'all still give the number? No? Yes. Yes, why not, bro? I, like, I don't care what phone you got. That is dumb. That is dumb. You know what it is? I'll give the number to the guy, but once we start texting... I'm probably not gonna text back because when you start sending me like emojis that I can't even see, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I cannot yeah, see. Our, it. Our, our society is crazy. I don't know if he's sending me a kissy face or something else. Like, how am I know? I don't mind if the girl has a Android. I don't mind. I'll still give you my number. We could talk, but we talking to this, this generation is crazy. This generation is crazy. I have to see it because I work in a tech field. The, emo- the emojis is the word? Yeah. yeah. They get they get translated. I mean, when you sm- we said a smiley face, it sends a mm-hmm. knife on swine. Smiley face, yeah. So I don't know. So I, I don't know. If, if they text you by the blue, you know, the blue phone, hey, the one ma. that costs $50, that's different. Hey, yo, ma, if you, got a, if you got an Android and I ask for your number, we talking, but we talking through WhatsApp. The, the only way, the like only way a phone will turn me off is surely pull out the Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she Boom, got that for the low. Yeah, she yeah. got that for free. The Obama is crazy. The Obama is crazy. The Obama is crazy. And I'm then you talking to her, and then you know Obama's like when you send text message, it take away from your minutes. Yeah. So like a text message is probably like ten seconds, and you can't refill and the minutes. Now, yeah, and then now you gotta wait like the whole ma- the days, next month, the next month, fourteen days for her. How to get minutes, her, her text, her I don't think I, I think that a person that has an Obama phone, they're not gonna be like, oh, here, put your number. They're gonna be like, oh, let me put my number on your phone. You're not gonna have. And then I'm phone. gonna call to see if you pick it up. And that's it. Like, what was this ringtone? Beep, 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 what beep, should they be beep, like? Oh, yo, but I heard the Obamas now is touch phones. That yeah, yeah. yeah it's not my the same. time. They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the right? keypad. Yeah. Shout out to my man Obama shout for providing, to, uh, yeah, yeah. providing phones shout for everybody out, shout out out to here. all the phones. The only thing is if you pull out like a boss revolution card, like, yo, <laughs> then, then, you know, it's over right there. Wait, what are you doing the bar in the first place, right? Yeah. What are you over. doing here for? Yo, you remember we used to go to the deli to buy the boss revolution? Boss revolution, yeah. yeah. To call the yard, yeah. yeah. And, be like, and that should be like, you got two hours mm. and 53 minutes. And nah, you be that lit. That was a struggle. You be lit. Um... The other que- the next question I have is, do y'all think y'all the cool ex or the problematic ex? Um, the cool ex. I've always been the definitely, cool, definitely, oh, cool definitely guy. Definitely the cool bro. guy. 
But well, they have told you like, oh yeah, you look cool. You, like the exes have told um, you that like, you look no, cool. No, actually, I've ever. Once I stop talking to her, I stop talking to her. I, well, I stop all communication, cool bro. Ex, I'm just a cool. I'm a cool dude, bro. Everybody always tells me I'm a cool dude. Yo, you're a cool dude, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Oh my god, that's not the question, Chris. The question is, do you think you're the cool ex, bro? <laughs> he say he I said I'm a. So. If I'm a cool dude, you're a cool I'm the cool ex, ex bro. So we all the cool ex. The, we all the cool. Yeah, ex. nobody's gonna be. Pro- you you I mean, probably be the toxic ex. No, nah, because you went through the no, girl's no, no, phone. No. I'm the one that got away. The I'm not the away. problematic or the cool ex. I'm the one that got away. Nigga. You're like, damn, I'm a, damn yeah, I damn, I should have never let go. They always come back. They always, they has, has, hasn't, I'm not even trying to be arrogant. There hasn't been one that hasn't come back and tell me that. So I'm the one that got away. If, if this is true, comment below. Comment down comment below. Comment below. And if you call me some crazy, you get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> you the cool ex? I'm up now. Ooh. So you're the cool ex. I'm up now. He's up now, bro. He's good. Cool. I'm good. He's yeah, good. Cool. Like, bro, I'm He's good. Cool. Do the cool He's ex. Good, yeah. bro. While He's they good. having food stamps, I'm up now. You don't get it? Mm. Yo, uh, <laughs> yo, uh, listen to this shit. Go and ahead. I have food stamps, by the way. I, am I am I crazy for thinking of my son? Don't get a lot of woman. Am I crazy? Like, let's say you a father, right? And back in the days, you used to get a lot of woman, right? And now you have a kid, your son, your son is growing up, he's in high school, whatever, and you see he's having problems getting woman. I find that crazy. Y'all don't think that's crazy or no? No. It, it, it crazy for you to care? Yeah, like my son is I coming up to care. me. My son is coming up to me telling me, yo, dad, I don't get woman, man. I don't know what's going on. And my son come, comes up to me and tell me, yo, dad, I can get woman and shit like that. I think that's not my son. I think I got cheated. Am I wrong for that? Yeah, you're wrong for that. Why? Because why would you think he's not your son just because he's not getting women? Because I think that shit, Pat, like, my DNA should it's go. It's just like, genetics? Yeah, it's genetics. But what if they got most of the genetics from the mom and the mom never used to get guys? I think I got cheated, bro. I think that mm-hmm. part, as a man, if you, if, I, I think that part had a triumph. No. <laughs> what the I, I swear to God, bro. Yeah, they think it's like una cosa, bro. bro it's <laughs> like, genetics, bro. And my son comes up to me, he's having problems getting warm. And like, at all, bro, not, not one girl likes him, What bro. if you have a daughter? I got cheated. That's what my son. What are you doing? If my daughter's a thot. She's not your daughter? No, she's like, just like the father. Oh, man. She's dead. How you, no, how you will handle that? I want I to If my this. daughter's a thot. Like, you're like... Something happened, like somebody came. Um, she came out crying, and she was like, "Dad, um, some guy posted on my nudes, he and po- now every all but, that, but that doesn't make you wait. Hold on, I'm not done for mm-hmm. my thought. I'm not done with my thought. Mm. Oh, so they <laughs> they posted all the nudes, me fucking a bunch of guys, and the, and they have it all over the school. What am I gonna do? What are you doing? First of all, yeah, blue. <laughs> I think that's something. Un avión. Pasa hasta domingo. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's something for the mom to handle. So, but you as a dad, I wouldn't do nothing. Nah, I would definitely. No, no, we're fighting. We're hitting the kid. <laughs> no, All you the kids. You go, you're going to jail. Yeah. You put my daughter out there, big dog. No, it's <laughs> not. It's multiple guys. She had like a. Like oh, a, it's a lot. Like, like yeah. the whole, like the whole football like a, team, like a football, game bang. Yeah, yeah. The whole football team just like recorded it. And just, they smashed the daughter. I would be disappointed. Probably she's not going to be my daughter no more. I think everybody will be disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I will lock myself in the room and just cry for like Wait, why y'all doing a with week. the situation? She a hoe. She, I mean, she already a hoe, though. My daughter's a hoe. I will cry for like a week in the room. And then when I'm ready to look at her, I go back into my room and <laughs> cry for another week. All right, so let me switch it up. What if it's a boy? My guy. That's my Yo, guy. Wait, like, like, wait, wait. Like the football team ran <laughs> ran it on him? Nah. Oh, oh. wait, wait. My, my son got ran through? With the, by the football team? Nah. It's the same shit? Oh, nah. but you, you're calling it like you say you got a gay boy. That's what you're trying to That's say. That, this, wasn't yeah, that yeah, the yeah. question? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 I bet like it was the guy, your your son fucking a bunch of girls and they got posted <laughs> up. Oh, my Big God. dog. Big dog. <laughs> Big dog. Hey, don't do that again. Yo, the double standards yeah. is crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, so how y'all reacted when I said a girl? You, you know what's funny though? You know what's funny? Uh, one girl kissed me one time in high school. I was like 14. And you cried? And no, no, wait. And then they called my dad because it was in the middle of the professors that were like, you know how they endure at that time? Yeah. <laughs> my dad went. My dad was like, Mira, what's your diablo? What the fuck is you? And I'm scared. I thought he was going to fuck me up. We go to the car and we like, Que me. <laughs> <laughs> he literally bought me McDonald's. And you know, the McDonald's. Like, yeah, it was expensive. This yeah. is a top notch thing. Like, I did some. 
I got I got in trouble when I was in school too because I used to put the little mirror. Under the skirts? Uh, under the skirts and shit, like at the end of the class. Oh, fucking creep. That's a creep ass thing, bro. Yeah. That's fucking creep. Yo. I was crazy. I put it the mirror what? and shit. Fucking horn dog, bro. Put the mirror in one spot. How old were you? Like 10? Yeah, like 9, 10, 8. This guy's a fucking me, creep. Me and my guy, El de Popolador, that's what he used to call <laughs> Hey, I forgot his name, bro. <laughs> Alfonso, Alfonso. My guy, Alfonso, the Popolador. We, they call our parents and shit for doing crazy shit like that. We did. He's so crazy, he's worse than me. He put it in the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, he put it in the bathroom. And, like, the bathroom had... You know in the other school that we have in the ceiling? Like, he was looking through the bathroom. Jesus. Yeah, the yeah, Popolador, crazy. bro. Shout out to my men, though. Popolador. Well, that's crazy, though. We go the to the, the Popolador. Yo, y'all have double standards. Crazy. Like, yes, well, yeah, that's a, that's a society we live in. Yeah. Double standard gets well, crazy. Should, y'all should change that. Why? Because y'all should. I will give an example. If, if, if a woman, like, I have a daughter and she's 30 years old and she doesn't work, I'm going to be mad. If I have a son that doesn't work at 30, at 30 years old, you're going to be tight. Like, I'm gonna what be are you doing? Mad. You're a goddamn yeah. bum. Double standards. Yo. <clears throat> so I saw this in the shade room, right? Yeah, I know they have a hot dog competition, right? Like every year. Yeah, the glizzy, the same the glizzy thing, yeah. Yeah, and, the, and this is always the same guy that wins, Yeah, right? Joey Chestnut. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's always the same guy that wins. You know now they have a mayonnaise one? Hey, yeah. why, why why do I have to go attend to that? Yo, but mayonnaise is crazy because that's like sauce. You're just drinking sauce. Yeah, you throw up. All those people throw up? I don't know. I, didn't, I just watched the video. Yo, shout out to the glizzy king, <laughs> Joey Chestnut. <laughs> you know what gets me mad about him? What? Yeah, he's not fat. Yeah. But they're professional eaters, bro. Yeah. I, I'm a that's, a, that's a professional. I'm a professional eater. No, they're, yeah. they're professional <laughs> eaters, bro. I am a professional <laughs> eater, bro. Yeah, you know what I've seen? We've been competing for 10 years. You know what yeah. I've seen? I've seen these guys, but well, I haven't like seen them personally, but they do their journey of like, them training. Mm-hmm. They will eat like an entire lechuga and then eat an entire yogurt to like expand their stomach. And then, bro, like, it, the training is crazy, bro. They would eat, like, drink mad water, eat cabbage, eat, like, shit that will expand your stomach, like, crazy. And then when they hungry, hungry, muchacho. It's crazy. They, ahí cabe hasta un camión, nigga. What do you think another, another, another full contest should be? Like, another challenge? Like, instead of hog dozen mayonnaise, we should be a good one. You, 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 know, what, you, know, what, you know what would be OD good? The, the little pigs in the blanket. What is that? What is that? The little hot dog. The, the hot dogs ones. with the with the, the mini, the little oh, mini hot mini dogs hot with, dogs. with the hot thing dogs. on it. Yeah, the yeah. mini hot dogs. Yeah. Bro, that would be fire. What right. if food competition? Do you think you winning? Like, like, yeah. Bro, put me in a pizza eating contest. That's my shit too. I'm I'm dogging it, bro. Yeah. For me, lasagna. Oh, I like pasta, but my pasta, pasta makes you get it cool right real away. Quick, yeah. Real quick. Yeah, but I'm talking shit. But like, but I, after like five slices, is is over. Well, what is the most, most slices you ever eaten? Ooh, I don't even know, bro. There was one drunk night, bro. There was mad pizza in my crib. Back in back my, I was just wild. Back in your fit days? Back, back in my fat day, I, we used to get me and my man, Andre. We used to get, he, he used to get his own little Caesars, and I used to get my own little Caesars. Like the whole pot? Yeah, yeah, the whole pot. It was $5. So he got his, he got his $5 for his old pie, and I got my own, my own, my own pie. But you, you ate in one sitting? Yeah. Holy shit! Because I have eaten pie, but like, fat, fat. like half and half. Yeah, nah, no, I, I never. No. I don't Yo, eat am, that much. It's am I fat that I think when I go to McDonald's or Burger King, whatever, right? I and I McDonald's. get one cheeseburger and fries. Like, don't fill you up. It never fills me up. Really? It, it, it does not call me like very fat, bro. Who eats? How old are you? Five years old? A cheeseburger and one fries? I don't know, bro. That don't fill you up either. I gotta right? get two McChickens and one McDouble and a French fries. Now so I'm not bugging, one right? Fills me up. Well, you a girl though, so it's different though. And when, if I'm really, really, really hungry, I get a ten piece. How about you? I get a ten piece my chicken nugget with fries. So it's that's all. That's I why think, I so I think. Wait, a ten piece nuggets and fries. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and and then uh, if I'm really, really like hungry? craving, not craving, not hungry, craving, I right, Sunday. I think it's very a American thing because. The normal thing is just to get the combo, the soda, the fries, and the burger, and you should be okay. If I get that, but the thing it's is, like I'm the not even. The cheeseburgers from McDonald's, like the regular cheeseburger, they're mad small. They're tiny. But yeah, you're talking about, about like a double cheeseburger. A double cheeseburger and fries is not filling me up, bro. Pause. Pause. Yeah, pause it's that. not filling me up, bro. And I and I, I'm trying to find out like if it's that weird or not. Un lonche de de caridad fills you up. No, yes, that's, that's yes, shit fills me up. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Un lonche de caridad. Yes. Yes. No, that shit is now. It went from 
five dollars. So four, fourteen, 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 fourteen. Fourteen. fourteen cash. You know when it fills you up when she said, "Get to get a memo." You know they put in yeah, the extra fucking extra, piece of yeah. meat. Chipotle, one bowl. Yes, yes. Chipotle, Chipotle. Hold on, what's one? What's one Chipotle? Like, what's your Chipotle meal? I'm yeah, gonna tell when, you. I'm gonna tell you. Oh, so, you want my order? Let me, let me go first. Oh, you fat? Okay. White rice. Uh-huh. White mm-hmm. rice. No beans. Steak. Corn. Sour cream. Cheese. And lettuce. Trash. Okay. Mine is white rice, black beans, chicken, the tomatoes, the pico de gallo. Sour cream, corn, and chips on the side. What about you? Same. Same? Same. But instead is half chicken, half steak. Yeah, ready? <laughs> Nigga want two animals. <laughs> Nigga want two animals. That's how fat he is. He, he, yeah. get, he gotta eat two animals. Two animals. Uh, listen to Chris. <laughs> Go ahead, big dog. I get double rice. Uh-huh. Okay. Because, yeah. because if you just get regular chicken. Yeah. They, they add more chicken because they see the portion of the rice. They have to like make it. So I get, I get, and I get double chicken because of the double rice. No, no, I tell them put extra chicken. So then when they're about to slide over, oh no, no, <laughs> put steak too. So you know now you get du- double, triple meat basically. Then they slide it over. They about put the pico. I don't get no beans though. Put the pico, no cheese. I put the hot sauce, the very hot sauce. Put the hot sauce. Um, corn. I got. I need a tortilla on the side, and I need chips on the side. You don't do fajitas. No. How much? Yo, that shit has to cost like twenty five dollars. No, his bowl. And you is know, very you know, dry. You know, no, it's not. Dude, that's, get the rest sauce. Yeah, but twenty five dollars bowl. No, that's twenty five dollars. It's twelve dollars. Yeah. No, it's not. Chris. No, it cannot be you twelve dollars. Chicken, bro. Yo, shout out to yo, shout out to y'all, and, and y'all know, y'all know where I'm at, bro. Well, they you be hooking me up every Tuesday. I'm there, bro. You there? Every Tuesday. That's the way he comes you know, here and be like, I'm not hungry. Yeah, you, know what, not hungry you know what? No, you it. know what was a waste of time for me? I like I find people weird that get tacos at Chipotle. And they be holding up the line with them they, tacos. They tacos? Like, like if you get yeah, ta- they yeah, yeah, they do tacos. They do I, quesadillas I, I, too. I had tacos from Chipotle. They do quesadillas and oh, all yeah. tacos. You're weird. But I have I have um like four tacos. I don't get like three or two because they mess small. I'll be honest, if you're from New York and you eat tacos from those main restaurants. Yeah, Wait, they're from you, Chipotle, bro. You, like, you, you ain't shit, bro. If you could get tacos from Chipotle, you weird, man. Because right now, there's places in like at natural Mexican places in New York. They yeah, did five. I think I might order some Chipotle when I get out of here. Too. What's the name of the spot in, in Queens? Come on, say it. Oh, Virialandia. Virialandia. Estrellita Problana, though? I mean, that hits, that hits. But Virialandia. Virialandia, you go in, there's a line. That's the one that I ordered the other day that we ate. Yeah. Um, shit next question, though. Should you pay for a service you're not happy with? Yeah, depends. It depends how far is how far I let the service go. I feel like that goes mainly for women because women be getting wigs, they be getting like how bad. How bad the service is though? How bad the service is? You need to ask. You're not happy with? Should you pay for it? Sometimes I go to do a haircut. Let's say the lineup of the beer is too low, like a little bit too low. I'm still going to pay for it. But you're not happy with the question is, should you pay for something that you're not happy with? It depends. It depends on service again. It depends. Like, Like if I'm in a restaurant. And like let's say I order a cheeseburger and it's raw, I'm not gonna if I don't eat I'm not gonna pay for it. I'm gonna be like this is raw. Yeah, I'm mean, like this is raw. Send it back. And if they say they say that for whatever reason it comes back raw again, I leave. I'm, like, I'm sorry, I'm I'm not gonna pay for that. I'm leaving. Thank you. With food is different. I feel like with food is different. But me, let's say with a haircut, I'm paying, but I'm letting the guy know like yo, next time don't do my eyebrows or do my shape of this way or my haircut this way. But with food, I feel like it's different. Like. I have paid for food that I didn't like. I have paid for food that I know from the Nami. from the like minute of the, in the restaurant. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like from the minute the food got there to the to the table, I didn't pay for. I like, used to. I, I knew I, it was gonna be trash. I used to work in a restaurant, and I know how the business is. Yeah. So, yeah, I know I could send my food back fifty times. They have to go back fifty times and redo the, it. The only reason I will pay in the restaurant that I don't like your food is if I order it and the food is right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I order something different, and it just came like that. Like, you order, like, extra hot wings, and it was too hot for you. You, you wouldn't exactly. eat Exactly. Yeah. But if I order something that I know what it is, and it comes raw or too overdone or whatever, now nah, I'm not going to pay for it. Like, it if I order shrimp and it got the poop, I'm not eating it. You don't eat the little poop? You check You like it? it? Yeah. 
Hey, yo. You have to check. I have a pet peeve, though. And y'all going to tell me I'm probably wrong or right to y'all, but to me, I'm right. My pet peeve is now. There's, in, there's been places that I've been with a group of people. And let's say they bring in you the steak, but they didn't ask you, like, if it's medium rare, if it's well done. They didn't ask you. It's a place that, let's say, everybody just getting steak. All right, I'm bringing the steak. And they bring the steak, let's say, well done or medium rare with the blood, right? I get mad at people that send the back. Let's say if your if your steak is medium rare, you send the back. Why you I get, get mad? mad at that shit? Why you get mad? Because I feel like it's annoying because... I used to be the ones that think that the meat has to be well done. After I started cooking my meat, <laughs> I, I paused. <laughs> After I started cooking it, you should, should be is, medium well. Yeah, bro. but the it thing should is, be medium well. The thing is, service, though, nah, ask. yeah, everybody have their own liking. Yeah. So me personally, I'm not. I, I only eat well done. Now I'll go to the caveat. If you go to the place, they don't. They don't ask. That's you need to understand it's not a proper place. Yeah. It's more like a, a quick eat. So you shouldn't go and say, oh, give me this back because you know it's not proper. Not even. Maybe you're not eating the proper. Like, maybe you're not eating the proper way, bro. But it's, it's like if I go to the pizza place and I like pineapple on my pizza. And the Italian guy behind told me, no. Pineapple don't go on a pizza. I'm, the I'm, reason, I'm out. There's a story behind it because I'm just going to say well, I was out with my family. And they all ordered steak. And when the steak came, it well, had blood, right? Th- this is very important. What kind of steak? Like tomahawk or whatever. Like, like, like Tom, a, dang, I got money. Tomahawk yeah, yeah, in a restaurant? It was a, yeah. $80 steak. Right and the steak 80. came. I was the only one that knew English. And my steak was medium well done. And I said, well done for all of them. And when the steak, they steak came, it was not well done, right? And I had to tell the guy, like, yo, all this steak, you got to make it well done. The guy went back, came back with the steaks. They still not well done. And I had to tell the guy I can't. All of them gotta be well done. And I I feel so fucking annoying because I will eat it like that. And I think there's a proper way. I'm saying that's the proper way, bro. That's the proper way. And I was just mad about that shit, bro. No. I, I don't you believe won't. that sometimes that the rating of what's well done or not changes by restaurant. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about top restaurant. Top restaurant they have the same scaling. Yeah. But sometimes you go to give me a well done and one restaurant has a little bit more blood than the other one. So probably that's what happened. But yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Just yeah, y'all want to talk about music? Yeah, let's talk, talk about let's music. Let's talk about music. music. Let's talk some music, baby. What what dropped? Rob Wave dropped. Your boy dropped. Yes, yeah, sir. Got, Shout out Rob Wave. What's the name of the album? I haven't listened to it. My bad. Um, I haven't listened to it. Damn. I know. I'm very bad my man Rob Wave got the whole album in the top 100 global right now. Really? If you're listening to this, go listen to Rob Wave album. It's in the top 100 global. Nostalgia. The whole entire... No, nostalgia. Nostalgia. That's the name of the album. Nostalgia Yo, by Rob Wave. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Uh-huh. Rob Wave is one of those artists. Every album he's dropped has, has not missed. <laughs> They've all hit. Literally every single album top to bottom has hit every single time. Like... The guy's discography is, is, is he's, amazing. He's, it's really good, bro. It's really fucking. Do you good. like this one? Do you heard this album yeah. already? How is it? Should have been on, on repeat. I love it, bro. I love, I love it? the whole album, bro. It should have been I on repeat, bro. I haven't listened to it, to be honest, bro. I've been in, I've been on that Drake shit. But um, to everybody that is listening to this, Rob Wade got the entire album in the top 100 global, bro. And I showed Chris before yeah. the podcast because Chris didn't know that shit. And I'm like, yo. This guy got all the songs from the album in the top 100 global Apple and Apple Music, bro. So maybe I'm not saying that I'm wrong because I haven't listened to the album. But if you're listening to this and you want some great music, go listen to Rob Wade Nostalgia, bro. That's all I'm gonna I, say. I, I recommend it. Any um, features on it or no? Yeah, I, yeah, saw, yeah, I, saw, yeah, yeah. I know he got 21 Savage. Yeah, yeah, he has a couple of features. Uh, got, City Jean, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. City yeah. Jean. Um, um Sadie Jean, yeah. um, twenty one. I think there's some. There's one more, one more. Wet in the, be- in the beginning, yeah. Wet, but yo, the, this is the guy. The guy's amazing, bro. Yeah, Shout out to Rahway. His talent is crazy. He surprised me though when he said global, bro. He could have it in New York City, whatever. Oh, he's from, he from Florida. He's from Florida. Global though. The whole world is listening to this guy right Keeping now. Keeping it bro. in music. Um, what y'all think about Drake pushing his album back again? Oh, um, yeah, do y'all think there's something going on like behind the scenes, or like he's just really so just waiting for his thing to finish? I don't believe it. he's making any changes on music. I don't know him, 
The reason I'm saying that because he said that there's no change. Like the album's complete. So th- there's only two reasons because of that, if we believe him. All right. One is um, just the distributor of his company. Probably they had to like figure things out in the end. Or he's trying to finish his tour or be in some little break for the album to come out. That's what I was saying that time we were talking about it. I was saying. It was week of October. I think the first weekend of October he's going to drop because that's when his. Tour finishes well, yeah. yeah I think it's like October 2nd October's or something very own, yeah. And you need to think about it Like imagine him Going to a city That album drops Now the people That pay the tickets Need to listen To the old the album old, yeah, yeah exactly So I, yeah It doesn't I make think sense For me I think he was He did it to get people hype Hype up I mean he is a marketing king So Yeah but that rollout It hasn't been good though Because everybody's been Giving him like Yo what the fuck Like you, you push it back again Or oh, you said this day Oh yeah. no now yeah, again maybe, Yeah maybe it wasn't A good idea But his, his head probably Was like oh, I'm gonna get everybody hype I, I'm gonna say that If that's the reason Drake you don't need it But at, like, at the end of the day bro It's, it's Drake bro It's yeah. Drake, it's Drake I, I'm still hype about the album though I think He has pushed it back Three times already This is the third time Um, I don't know What is the reason Maybe he's waiting for a feature. Maybe he's waiting for uh, a sample to clear. Or maybe he's waiting for somebody to drop the verse. Or maybe he's getting another song created. Or maybe he's creating. I don't know the reason. It could be the reason that Chris said. It could be your reason. It could be the, whatever the bartender is. I'm just getting very tired, bro. Because I'll be saying in the last six podcasts, bro. I keep saying, this Friday, Drake is coming. I bought a champagne for the podcast that me and you did. If you haven't watched, me and Jaime did a podcast because Chris was on vacation and bartender had COVID. I bought a champagne thinking my champagne guy was Champagne pop is going to drop. Yeah. yeah. And he pushed, he pushed the back to October 6th, right? So he gave us a preview. He gave us the song with SZA. With SZA yeah. The name of the song is Slime You Out. I don't got to tell you to go hear that shit. I know you already heard it. Yeah, but uh, you know what's funny? I haven't been seeing good reviews on it. I love the song. The song. I, yeah, the song. I liked it. We, I liked the we song. played it earlier. Song, yeah. I fucked with the song, but a lot of people is not really. It's like, number one right now. I, I think. But well, everything Drake does is, no, is number yeah. one. Is, yeah, Drake, so. is Drake friends with Rod Wave? You know, I, 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 have I, I read a story that they had a they had a song coming out. Mm-hmm. I think it was like two or three years ago, and Rod Wave he pulled the song. It was Rod Wave's song, and Drake was on it, and Rod. He he decided not to release the song because oh, I remember, because it was, he was too big. Drake was too no, big. no no not because Drake was too big. It was because Rod Wave felt like he didn't do his thing. he didn't do his thing on that song. So he was like I'm not gonna disrespect you like real that. artistry shit. Real Bro, artistry. Like, shit. That's what no Rod Wave. He makes really like quality music. High so the music. reason I'm saying this we could probably Drake saw that Rod Wave is gonna drop and he didn't want to like overlap his sales in the week. Um, I don't know I don't think you know, so That's a code That's an artist yeah, 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 code Yeah it's an artist code I got you Yeah it would be fire If Rod Wave is in, his, is in Drake's album That would be fire Yeah I just waited for To see what Drake and Barboni cooked you, Oh about. yeah cause Yeah I forgot uh, they, they cooked up something Yeah I forgot yeah, they cooked Bar-Bone something there, got a song with there, Drake. there is um rumors that Probably it, At first they saying that um, Bad Bunny was doing his album But then Bad Bunny On the West Side group He said I'm not dropping any album I don't know what you guys are talking about yeah. So probably that video that he was recording is for Drake album. For Drake's album. Um, I know Drake got a song with Bob Bunny. Drake got a song with Little Yachty too. Drake and I know, and I, he's definitely gonna have a song with Travis. Twenty One yeah. Savage probably again. Yeah, again too. Um, in future probably. <laughs> in a concert, in a concert, Drake said that this album that's coming out is a classic. I know every artist dude is like, oh, this album is a classic, but I have never heard Drake say it's this a album is a classic. Mm. I'm waiting for this album, bro. You don't understand. Yeah, you, you know what I'm scared mm. about before you start? No, go ahead, go ahead. Is, is that he drops an album that people don't feel Fuck at whatever. that moment. Mm. He, it happened with, it happen before with, with views. views. It happened with views. Views and age per bro. You listen to views now? It's crazy. Is it crazy that album? Bro. All of my exes wanna be friends. Yo, views. And I love that album. Yeah, yeah, views. Yeah, views I've been wrong good. with Drake. I, I was wrong with Drake with Take Care. I was OD wrong. I was wrong with if you're reading this, it's too late. I was wrong with views. I was wrong. How were you wrong with Take Care? Take Care was yeah, like, when it was, it that was an instant. Yeah, oh, he didn't I, I like it. Wrong. He didn't like it. I didn't like that it. That was an instant, like from the. From the First song that was one of probably one of my favorite intros of like ever, bro. Do you like Scorpio? No, Tuscan Letters. Scorpion, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love I love Scorpio. Tuscan, oh, yeah. Tuscan Letters the best intro. Oh yeah, that, you know that you know what's funny? Tuscan Letters is not even an intro. Is it? It's, you know, it's the first song, bro. When he dropped the deluxe, is the last song. So you have to listen to it 
they just bro, it's a, some crazy shit that I I read on I saw on YouTube. Some crazy shit that made a lot of sense. Yeah, bro. Drake well, you know that man. you know that is they said that certified lover boy, right? Then after certified lover boy, it came out What's honestly the, never mind. Yeah, it was the pop and then. Pop shit. Yeah, Certified Lover Boy, honestly, never in mind, her laws. Those three albums, they're they supposed to like blend in. Blend in together. And it makes sense. Certified Lover Boy, honestly, never mind, it's her laws. So I wonder. Oh, I, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Honestly, yeah, for, it's for, her for laws. The dogs now. now it's for all the dogs. So I think. I think it's a qu- it's a quadruple whatever you say that name a quad a, qu- a, a, a quad, quad album quadplex for all the dogs, for all the dogs. that's actually like, a great idea yeah, yeah like because he's just telling you yo I'm a certified lover boy honestly never, never mind. mind it's her loss and this is for all the dogs yeah that's fire that's fire actually I, 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 like, I like how you, I like how you I like how you put that together uh, yeah it's the bad bro I think it's the bad yo Dre drop the album bro I'm tired yo, of talking keep, bro keeping it, keeping it with Drizzy 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 Drake yeah um what do y'all think about Holly Berry being tight about he, he him using her picture for the, when she got slammed in so, Nickelodeon so when I first saw it I was like what the heck are you getting mad for because that picture is public well because at first wait because at first supposedly she she said said this she is, is all from the report. This is all from the report. He didn't ask. No, no, supposedly he asked her. And there you go. And then she say. said, "Hell no!" But supposedly he asked her for, "Can I use this as? I guess it's for like the cover album. Uh, no, cover of the, the, cover of the, the, song? the the cover of the song that he dropped with SZA. Yeah. Slime um, you out. Slime you out. Yeah. You're gonna, as a single, can I use this as the single cover art? She said, "Hell no!" So he just released it on Instagram. Like he didn't put it. If you go to Apple Music now, if you go like to it's like the Spotify, dog. It's, it's the, the dog. it's the dog. Yeah. So I guess he respected it there, but he just didn't respect it. I, I'm still using your shit because like, it is public. It is public, like type shit. So what do y'all think about like if Holly was Holly Berry in the right? She should she be tight? So what do y'all think? I just think this these people be using things for like clout. You think Holly Berry using it for clout? Yeah. Even though people's gonna say more because Holly Berry doesn't need clout. But who's who's talking about Holly Berry? Nobody. Yeah, to be honest, the new, the new generation was not don't really know who Holly Berry is. Like, and I didn't I even know she had that picture. I saw that picture for the first time. That ever. picture was man, I think it was like 10, 15 yeah. years ago type shit. So the thing is to finish my my explanation is um the pictures like Jaime said is public, bro. It's public, bro. So if he asks you for him to use it for a cover of a song, it's respect. and you said no. Like he, still, he still posted on Instagram though. He posted on Instagram like it's nothing crazy. The picture is out, bro. She probably, she probably. I'm gonna give you a little pushback. I agree with you though. I I'm, I just want to play devil's advocate real quick. Yeah. Um. No one was looking for that picture though. So now you know she's. Now you know you have Drake has two hundred and what thirty million and followers people, yeah. in, on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So you have two hundred thirty million people googling this picture, and I, and they made it even worse. The because drama. because she was like, oh no, why he did this, blah blah blah. You know what's so. funny? I'm and Drake hasn't even said anything. Like he's been quiet. He hasn't even said anything. No, he about said it. that he did ask. The I'm poll, looking. No. Yeah, I'm looking, and Sisa also posted it. Yeah, because she's in the song. And yeah. she's in the song. Yes, yeah, And then Holly Berry's like, no, I cannot use it. I feel offended with that picture. What Yo, what I- if what if this is like a master plan from Drake? Creating drama That's between him and Holly. Yo, this guy, this guy. This and then he got on the video. Yeah, this and guy's then- a man. This guy's a fucking man, bro. Yo, Yo if it was so fucking hype for that, for my man to drop, bro, we so hype, bro. I hope, I hope you. Yo, don't I know. never, I never, it never been a time in the podcast. The hype is hype. You hype. I'm hype. And the and the boys are just waiting for the bad body. So yeah, for the bad body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like we all for hype. But the thing is. There's gonna be mad shit happening because let's say it happened again. Yeah, you don't like it. Oh, this is not my shit. There's gonna be another you know, argument. You know what? We're being crazy though. You know what? I want something to happen? October six. That's when that one is coming. You know what? I want to happen? When when Dre dropped that album at twelve a.m. You know what I wish to happen? What? That Bad Bunny drop an album. <laughs> nah, he won't do that. He won't do that. Bro, nah, Bad Bunny not it's the head to head. Topest artists in the industry. Bad Bunny's gonna lose head that to head. Bad Bunny losing that fight. I don't know. Bad Bunny's the losing that ba- fight. Bad Bunny got the whole. The thing is that nah, Drake got, got every- a lot of people, but the thing is that Bad Bunny's fans is like no. Crazy. no yeah, Bad Bunny's fans are more like loyal. No, no, it's fans. not only no, that. No, no, they both loyal. They but both I just think loyal, Bunny got but, more I, fans. but I think no. Bad Bunny fans are cold. Yes, yeah. 
Yes. yes. So I think like, because Drake going to have the United States and some yeah. people in other country. Yeah. yeah. London and whatever. But, yeah. But Bad Bunny has a whole Latin community. That Plus is. WWE community as well. Plus that community. Plus the LGBTQ community. Like he has a call. Like it's a, it's crazy. So that's why yeah. I think they're going to be head to head. But Bad Bunny going to be slightly up because his friends is wild. Are talking about Bad Bunny so, so happy? Nah, I like Drake too. I have mad Drake. If Drake and Bob Bunny drop the same date, Drake is beating Bob Bunny in numbers. I think Drake is beating Bob Bunny in numbers. And I'm Latino. And I'm Latino. I think Drake is beating Bob Bunny in numbers. I don't know, because, like I was saying. I'm just to let you know, I get your point of view of fan base. But just to put something out there, the most streamed artist right now is The Weeknd. Yes, the weekend, yeah. yeah. And he's an English artist. So even though the, the language barrier, yeah. you're right, you know, Spanish, Bad Bunny's going to have more countries that support him. Remember, those Latin countries don't use Spotify. But ha- yeah. They use YouTube. But the thing, YouTube, is, yeah. the thing is... Who do you think winning? What was the question? If they drop in the same day, Bad Bunny If, if I said, I wish... I who's going to sell more records? Yeah, I said, I wish on October 6th, when Dre drop at 12 a.m. Friday... Bad Bunny drops too. Who you think I'm on? Who you think is? I just want to say something before you answer. I think, I think, I think Drake Drake is winning, but I think it's gonna be a matchup. I think. Go ahead, go ahead. I think Bob is say? winning though. What you gonna say before I answer? Yeah. Uh, I think Bob is winning in the long run. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll say that. Um, I think Drake's gonna win. That's what I'm trying to say. I think Drake's gonna win. But not by a lot. I Drake, do believe Drake, that no, Bob is gonna. It's not gonna be. A, it's not gonna be a landslide. Yeah, but you probably think, Drake is Drake is probably gonna sell you like two fifty. Crazy. And, and Bad Bunny's probably going to sell like 200. Oh, 240, 230. 230. Let's, no, I, let's imagine this. I think this. it will be Drake, Crazy. but also, like, it's hard for me to think because the thing is, Bad Bunny, like, their fans is like... Now, that's a... Third, not like, it's crazy. All right, let me put this. Chris, imagine this. Everybody on October 6th, Drake is coming out. And we all going crazy. Oh, Drake's come out. We all listening to it. And all of a sudden, the guy dropped. Bad Bunny has a surprise. <laughs> now it's gonna be tough. <laughs> like it's, it's a crazy Yo, that's fight. The battle and I of wish, the year, I wish it would happen. I, I wish, wish it that's would. what I said. I because wish, cause I want to see that, this. That'd be, that be great, though. That'd be great. I'll be f- I'm just gonna say something. You know, if, you know, when does that, he's canceled from the English. No, 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 yeah, no, like, oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. He's gonna get a lot of hate if he does that. So I don't think he's doing that. And they, they, they cool. Supposedly. Yeah, no, listen, oh, they're they cool, cool. So he's right. not gonna do that. I know, I know. This is what you wish, but it's not, happening. bro. It's not happening. when the boy puts a date. Everybody gets out the way, <laughs> That's bro. What I'm saying. Except Taylor Swift. <laughs> Everyone gets out except, the way. Except Taylor Swift. But Taylor yeah. Swift is Taylor Swift. But Taylor yeah. Swift is Taylor <laughs> Swift. <laughs> yeah. But so. Other than Taylor Swift, yeah, everyone that. gets out Everybody of the jump, way. That's a different genre. Hey, that's what I was about to say. Taylor Swift fan base doesn't even listen to Drake. <laughs> yeah, like, and Drake oh, fan base, most of them don't yeah. listen to Taylor Swift. Yeah, no, yeah bro. True. When the boy puts a date, he put the date. Yeah. I promise you, whoever, we, let's just say, let's just say. Um, who was this artist? Give me a regular artist. Um, hey, wait, wait, before you start, it was A Boogie who did that? Who he was, was about to drop an album And Drake dropped, and Drake dropped For her loss so he And, he and, and Boogie was like Hell no man. He like, yeah, he like, no, 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 no. See ya next month <laughs> No it was not him It was somebody else It was A Boogie no, I think was, it was A Boogie It was A Boogie No it was somebody it else It was A Boogie Cause we spoke about it on the pod We spoke about it right yeah. I, rem- I Cause, remember cause I remember Chris saying Nah A Boogie said Nah the man is dropping <laughs> I'm not dropping now And, and he like, postponed it and yeah. I love it yeah. He was honest bro He's honest He's honest Yo Drake give us an interview And he posted it too On his Instagram He's like I'm not posting Yeah he like fuck out of here the man, the man is dropping. My shit gonna do trash. Yeah, Everybody gonna be on this shit. Yo, Dre, give us an interview, big dog. When you come back to New York City, bro. I thought that was friendly. I know you went to the Raider shit. That's just fired. I know the man that recorded that. Shout out to my <laughs> man from, from the Raider. The, I, don't, I don't remember. On the Raider, whatever, right? No, Raider. Radar. 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 On the Radar. Come in New, when you come to New York, give us an interview, bro. It could be 25 minutes, bro. Me, Chris, Jaime, bro, the bartender. It could be five minutes. It could be five minutes, big dog. It could just be me and you, Drake. I'd me and you know. be texting for so long already, bro. Just give you me an opportunity. It could be just me and him. I'll interview him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think like a th- Yo, <laughs> and you know what, Messi, I want to show you? What? Because, you know, Chris' brother never trust me. Oh, shit. You know, Chris' brother. I even uh, brought this in the last podcast. But I'm going to drop it again because, like. Wow, 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 wow. He dropped it. Look at the comments on YouTube. The latest comment again. Somebody's, somebody said, oh, that's Melo right there. Because they used to call me Melo playing ball. Oh, oh, so oh, this oh. is for Kevin. But I, he'll beat you one on one though. 
You really think I so? Think, I think, one I on think one, he one he would. I think he bro, would. The comments are you, you cannot run. Yeah, you, so you shooting, have bad knees. You have bad knees, shooting, right? Shooting. I'm you talking about shooting. You want to destroy him? I, mean, I think you're wrong, but uh, I'm not going to kill your confidence. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're real friends, though. Me and Hyman, real you're friends. You're not beating me and Ball, though. I promise you that. Shooting, oh though. God. I have a basketball I my in my trunk. Shooting. I have but a basketball. I'm talking about one on one or actual no, game. No, no, no. You beat him. You beat him. And Kevin, too. But I shooting. dollars Shooting. Yo, yo. Um, on, yo let's, let's keep it in music. Keep it in music. Don't be really tell yeah. you about that shit. <laughs> yeah, keep it in music. Keep it in music. Keep it in music. Yeah, yeah. Um, keep it in music. I'm killing ya. Uh, All of ya. All keep going. <laughs> Yo, my cousin won. He won. He won. Nah, the he will too. definitely destroy me. That's right. What the fuck? That's mad head, bro. <laughs> no, but he's nice. He told me he's how, nice. How you know he's nice? You no, never seen me, him play. No, he told me what he play at. Doesn't matter. No, no if he's I, lying. No, no, because I, I, yeah, t- no. fucking, the, the I tried out. Because 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 I tried out. In that team, and there's these conversations they have while they drug. The viewers, the viewers don't care. The viewers don't care. So finish up our music. All right. Did I hear about Peso Pluma? Oh, oh yeah! Yo, come on, yo, bro. Yeah, let's, 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 get to, let's get to it. That the Mexican so, cartel said, if you perform in Miami, wait, let me, no, let me get Miami. That was not Miami. No, no, it was in Mexico. It was in Mexico. So listen, listen, listen. All right, go, 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 ahead, Pop. So Peso Pluma, he canceled his Tijuana concert mm-hmm. because he was forced to. I'm not gonna say I don't know who it was, Bobby. I don't know. I live in the fifth floor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who forced him to cancel it, but he, it was. Cancel. He was there was a cancel. sign that they posted everywhere in, in Tijuana, mm-hmm. and they were saying "Por boca suelta." Yeah, because he was like disrespectful That's, and shit like so that. So when you said when you, when you Mexican, yeah. and, and not not Mexican, when you from those specific places and you sing things from cartels and things like that, you have to ask for permission first. You yeah, cannot. It's, it's be, a code. It's a code. It's a code. You have to like okay, I'm gonna talk about drug law, whatever the case may be. You better, you better should do ask them first that you're Yo, gonna say those things. If I'm Peso Pluma, talking about it right now, if I'm Peso Pluma, I'll be scared to shit on myself. Of bro. course. Bro, if a cartel said that, I can't be good anymore. Bro, I had in to your, in your home country. I, I, I had to meet country. with them. I had to meet with them. Now, yeah, he has, I don't care. Yeah, he got to he, he gotta get on the phone with one of them. He got to get on the phone. He got to get on the phone with, nah. yo, please, bro. Yo, he has to go. And I'll still be shitting on myself. After they, up, be, yeah. after they be, they be like, "Yo, you you good? You good? All right, all right yeah, I, I'm good. Yeah, I'm not going over there for now. <laughs> I'm not good, bro. I will do three, five what about concerts you? What you for free. What you think about that? Five concerts for free. Not, he better not do it. How the hell? No, there, no, it's already canceled. It's already canceled. Oh, okay. It's already canceled. <laughs> shout out to my Mexican. Shout, 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 shout out to Mexico. I love Mexico. Yo, hey, 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 Chris is hey, over there. You heard? Hey, Papi. Hey, man. Hey, he primazo. Primazo. Oh, yeah, primazo. But you know what I like? <laughs> Mexico loves America. Yeah. And we love Mexicans. Yeah, we love Mexicans. So it's, it's yeah, love, man. Tacos is different. Lo- Yo, Yo I, love I think Mexican has the richest cultures in this side of the world. Yeah, I love, I love, I love all Mexican food. The only thing I don't food. like is the mo- the the what the mole mole, mole, mole. because it because, because it has chocolate. What is mole? It's like mole. Chocolate with beans it's like a Mexican like sauce. Yeah. You know what I like elote. Oh, oh yeah, they're not that shit. I tried that recently. And your whole mouth be like, oh, you full of mayonnaise. Pause. Well, anyway. Boys. Boy, no way, boy. Yeah, no way. Yo, oh, but got one question. topic. Yeah, but Tender's bringing her one topic. Yeah. Yo, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, wouldn't be dale, shit dale, without dale, me. Dale, dale. Dale, Don't get smacked. What was one thing that y'all did when y'all was drunk, and the next morning y'all was like, "Fuck, why I did this?" I stole ten chocolate bars from the deli, drunk, and I Are woke up with melted, with melted, with melted chocolate in my pants. I do that, and that, on, the, I do that on the regular just to see if I still <laughs> got it. Fuck it. <laughs> I do that on the regular just to see if I still got. I, I feel like a criminal. Um, text. I said no. A text that I'm not. I, no, I'm something supposed. crazy because everybody does that. Yeah, when you join some the wrong text. Um, probably order mad food and not eat shit. Oh yeah, we all spend oh, like, yeah. spend like hundred dollars yeah. on food and you're not for no cow? reason. Overeat and shit. Yeah, some bullshit. Hundred dollars <laughs> and then you wake up like the food is just there. You know what happened to me? I ordered Uber Eats. And then my, I never got my order. You know how tired I was drunk? That was me too. Yeah, I had Yo, to that gets you tight. All day tight. I did that with And Kylie then you call Uber Eats and they be like, oh, um, you cannot cancel your order. We're going to charge this fee for you. The whole thing that you pay, they want to charge us a that fee. This shit is crazy. I went through that shit too. The guy, you know what the guy did? The guy left, like, he took a picture like it was in front of my, my apartment and he left. What the fool? But well, where he got my all my money back though? They gave me all my money back. Nah, but at three AM, bro, and you be waiting and for you that hungry? Phone for an hour and forty. 
And you like mad drunk and you just up because you standing waiting for that shit. waiting for that food because you know it's gonna hit waiting for the hog though. <laughs> it's true that you be standing there like this. Uh, Yo, facts. You be standing like this. Uh, that is crazy, bro. That Yo, is crazy. and then you just tie because you gotta go to bed. Man, that shit happened to me with Carida. I make an order and that shit came the next day. Is that Carida that closes? Carida closes. Bro. Well, you was drunk. I was drunk. <laughs> See y'all next week again. Same team, same blackie, same J-A-I, same bartender, same player, Marcos Alexander. I might play for the Knicks, nigga. (laughs) Hey, Damian Lillard, if you not playing no what else, come play for the Knicks, nigga. Hey, what's the other one that is not, you don't know who he's going to play with? Dylan Brooks. Uh, They don't got paid. What's the (laughs) other one that I don't know who he's going to play with? Uh, who, 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 who? What's the other one that I don't know who he's going to play with? It's Damian Lillard that we don't know he's who he's going to play. James Harden. And James Harden. Hey, James Harden. Nah, he can't be, he can't James be Harden. Him. You know the strip club is popping in New York again, hey, big hey, dog. Hey. Come play for the Knicks, you heard? And if you might see me in the street, I'm the Knicks player, you heard? See y'all later.